Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And I'm so glad that you're joining me today. I am using one of the new stamp sets from the mini catalog and I had never, I hadn't even um, got it ready. So I'm so glad. And now that I have, I want to make a bunch of these cards because they are so cute. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So today is my Mimeograph Monday with a twist and it basically means that I'm going to be um, casing the card out of one of the catalogs and then I'm going to be doing a twist on it. So more of my taste. So that means I'll be doing two projects today. And this is a super cute one and I can't can't wait to get started. So make sure um, if you're watching the live premiere, if you have any questions or anything like that, I am watching live with you off to the side in the chat. So you can um, reach out to me there. If you're watching the replay, then just leave a comment below and YouTube will let me know that, um, you know, maybe you need my help or, or whatever, but I can um, holler back at you. So um, just close your eyes for just a second while, um, well, hmm. Let's see. Hello. Yes, 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 this is Ernestine Gibbs. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. So does that kind of give you an idea of what stamps that I'm gonna use? Oh my gosh, I had to pull out my old headset. And, um, but when I saw this stamp set originally, I was like, I love that old telephone. So now you know it's the let's chat. Um, but I love that old um, style telephone. In fact, when I first saw it in the catalog, I was like, well, that's an old phone. Why didn't they use a cell phone? And and after I got it, and, and I, now that I've been playing with it, I'm so glad that they used the old phone. It just has so much more character. So yeah, so that was just some silliness for, for a early Monday. <laughs> well, actually, it's not early, right? But it is Monday. So I am now for real going to change my, um, my, um, whatchamacallit, my camera so you can see. So I apologize for being kind of, kind of kooky there. All right. So close your eyes just for a second while I get adjusted. So what we're going to be using is a let's chat. And this is what I mean. It has this really fun, um, old fashioned telephone on there, but it's got some cute um, little squirrelies and, and I love the font that they use. So we're going to use that. It also uses the lovely and sweet die because we need this little um, thing here, which is kind of like a tab, right? That you would have in a, a file, you know, a file folder or whatever. All right, let me put that back on my desk. All right, so these are the supplies. Um, if you want my, the recipes, you can get them on my blog. If you go over to my blog, if you click on the top, it says um, current catalogs. If you click on that, it will open up to the um, to the recipes so you can get them. So that's how I figure out how things were, were done. Sometimes things are missing like this one, right? Because it talks about the paper was petal pink and basic white, but they didn't mention you know, the paper behind and I figured out by the ink colors that it is Lost Lagoon. So I just wrote it there. So I make sure I remember to put Lost Lagoon um, when I put the recipes because the recipe for this one will be um, under the in the description of the video. So that's where I got that from. So let's get started here. All right. Now, ahead of time, I did do the, because um, we used a geometric, and oh, here it is, the geometric die, so geometric patterns, and so it's a really fun die, so I ran it through the petal pink so you could get a better look at it, but um, it's got some really cool shapes to it, and you're just going to want this one. So that's where that, um, you know, from that die that came out of. All right. So this is, I just go A 
and then there's a B. I think there's just two of them. All right, so that just makes me re know that, you know, there, there's two that go with it. All right, so this is Lost Lagoon. Now, we are going to be, because there's all these little hearts on there, and I was like, well, where did that heart come from? I was looking for paper, and then I realized they just stamped it with this little heart. So that will just take... A little bit of time here so we can chit chat a little bit while I'm doing that I might just speed up my camera too but I am going to use a ruler and this is just going to help me <clears throat> keep them semi straight because no matter how how much I try it just starts to kind of go at an angle so this is just going to kind of help me be a little straight I mean they're not going to be perfect but um, they're a little bit better than if I didn't use the ruler all right so I just kind of move the ruler down a little bit and then the closer it gets to me I can see better because I'll be directly over top of it and then when I do the next row I like go in between the ones above so that they're not all going to be in a row and then I'll scoot it down again. It's not like an inch. It's a little bit more than an inch. So I'm just kind of using my grid sheet as a guide. And then we'll do the same thing. So this one, try to put it underneath that one that was up on the top. But like I said, it's, it's not perfect. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But we just keep going down and down. All right, so I'm just going to speed the camera up just so you don't have to watch me do this the whole time. So there's all our hearts. So you can tell when I did my twist, I did not do the hearts. <laughs> I totally um, changed that up. All right, so I don't need the Lost Lagoon anymore. So that was Lost Lagoon ink on Lost Lagoon cardstock. All right, so now we're going to bring our card over. I want to make sure I've got it going the right direction. Because this is three and a quarter by three and a half all right so we're going to use calypso coral for our um telephone and i'm just stamping it upside down so i can see if i've got it good and inked and they put this so it's kind of like um crooked like um on the bottom okay and then we have our pretty peacock and that's going to be the hay I'm going to do my my um, hand set first. So I'm just going to come up here with my hand set. And then put my hay. And this way I can connect connect the two there we go so now we've got our hay and our um handset in the bottom now i'm going to change the colors on my twist i'm going to just close these quickly 
So that also means I want to wash these so that they have a little bit of time to dry. I have my scrubber off to the side. And I just want to clean them because I did choose, I think I choosed all new colors for my twist. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So they're good and clean. And then sometimes the block gets a little wet, so this will give that block a little bit of time to dry. All right, so let's get a clean bridge sheet here. All right, and bring our card over. So we have our card. Now, this is some petal pink, and I cut it a little bit bigger. I cut it the same width. So it's three and three quarter, I mean, three and a quarter. And then it is three and three quarter long because I want this to get glued back here and I want to be able to see a little bit of that on the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little bit of green tip glue that I have put in the handy dandy little bottle. And this is just going to give me a little bit of wiggle room um, while I get that placed on my petal pink. If I use a seal, it would stick right away. And this just gives me a little bit of time to get that just where I want it. And then here is that cute little um, embossed tab. And I'm just going to put some green tip glue on that as well. And it's give, it gives you a little um, glue area. And then I'm just going to simply stick it behind here like that. So this first card is pretty simple. I didn't put anything on the inside. I might put a piece of um, a plain white in there before I use the card. All right, so this is simply going to go right on there. And they, they did use dimensionals for that. You could tell I was splattering. I have splatter on my dimensionals. All right. So I've been practicing taking these off the back. And sometimes I do good. <laughs> and sometimes I don't. All right. Oh, especially if I drop it on my grid sheet. There we go. All right. So this is just going to go in here. Now, is on an angle... So that makes it really, really fun. So there is the first card. So there is the catalog version. Super cute. All right. So now let's go to the twist. I have my um, stamps washed from before. I changed the designer series paper because I wanted something more colorful. So already you can tell this is much more a Diana card than the other one. I did not change much of the, um, I didn't change much of the layout because I loved the layout. I loved using that little, um, you know, the little tab or whatever. I thought that was ingenious. So I did, you know, I did, did keep that the same, um, but I to, but it totally gives it a, a different card look, the colors I choose. So this is Pool Party, and this paper is the amazing, let me go get it here. This is the Sunny Days Designer Series paper. I did not realize how cute this was. So here it is here. So I got it from this pack. And it has um, basic black, crushed curry, petal pink, pool party, poppy parade, and shaded spruce are the colors in this paper. So make sure um, you grab that. That is a free celebration. Celebration ends the end of February. So don't miss out on that. There, there are some things not available right now. Um, and some are coming back. And I don't know if they all will. So just keep that in mind. So that's where this designer series paper came from. So this is going to go on the inside. I'm just getting my things placed. All right. So let's get to the card. Now, the card, I kept it the same as the other one. The white is the same size. But I wanted my phone 
to be brighter and more cheery than Calypso. So I chose colors that were in that um, designer series paper. So my phone is going to be Poppy Parade. Now I did the same thing. I kind of made it be, um, you know, kind of crooked. So it's kind of the same, same layout. Bring that down just a little bit. So I'm going to make a bunch of these and I'm going to do my twist one. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do the handle again or the whatever. What did I call that? Earpiece. Whoop. Don't drop it. All right. So same thing. Kind of at an angle. And then this time I'm going to do the hay um, with basic black with my memento because there is black in the designer series paper so I wanted that instead all right so same thing I'm just going to use my hay and then I'm going to connect the two so I just kind of come over and connect those two but I also kind of pay attention to the hay I don't want it to be too close to the phone so when you do it just kind of keep these apart um, you could scrap, use your scrap paper, you know, if you're not sure about um, your placement to figure it out. But um, there we have that. You can see it. I went out a little bit, but that's totally fine. All right. So that's our hay. I'll set that aside. And then I did, instead of using that die, I just used some more of the paper. And, and this is petal pink as well. It's the same color as we used before, but now I'm using the designer series paper. So let's bring the inside one over so I can get it done. Because I also want to do some stamping on the inside of that. I am going to put the designer series paper that I used on the front. I'm going to put that on the inside as well. All right. So this is just going to go on the inside of my card but look how cute those are together oh my gosh I did not even realize how cute this paper was and then when I was doing my twist I was like oh let me see what paper I have so now I want to grab some extra packs of these because I love designer series paper I have a stack on my table of retired stuff that I still use in my classes because there's just certain patterns that I just totally love and I still use them all right so let me just flip this over all right so we're gonna put on the inside I want to bring my poppy parade over so on the inside of the card I want to put another handset so we're gonna put this handset in here Okay, now I can close this. All right, then it also had this squiggly in there as well. So I changed my squiggly. So I'm still going to use the Amamento. And I put my squiggly one there instead. Then I want some pool party because we have pool party cardstock. We have pool party in that designer series paper. And it has this. Um, little like a talking thing so I want to have this come out of the the thing but I was looking at it and I was like I wonder if you could do like a sun and just just trying something out let's see this works might not even work might not because I'm starting to hit so I'd have to make it bigger but I was just trying to play all right that's called squirrel She's got something else. She saw something and she wants to try it. All right. I think it would, but you have to go bigger. All right. So then we have this hello. So I'm going to do this with the memento and two. And we're going to go hello. 
Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So that is the inside of the card. So let's put our card together now. So we have the inside, the outside, and I also, since that paper is so adorable, I am even going to put some on the envelope. All right. So that goes there. I'm almost out of this seal. All right, let's go. But look at these adorable colors with these kind of like a poppy flower, isn't it? I don't know what it is, but it's so, so cute, whatever it is. All right, so let's stick this on the inside. So which are you liking, you know? I mean, it, you never hurt my feelings because some people will like the catalog one, and that's totally cool, right? I never do this to be um, like a competition. It's just for fun. All right, so let's bring this over. So we're going to do the same thing. It's the same kind of layout as we did before. Um, but I chose some of the designer series paper, so there was a little bit of texture back there. And um, and then I didn't have to use that embossing folder. I could have used just the regular cardstock in the petal, and that would have looked fine. But I kind of liked um, all this texture going on. All right. But you definitely, when you have a lot of texture, we used to call that oh my gosh, what did we call that at school? Clash. It was called Clash Day, I think, or something like that. And you would wear clothes that did not go together, like polka dots and stripes and plaids, you know, and I think it was called Clash Day. I don't even know, but something like that. But so that's kind of what this makes me think of, right? That it clashes. Now, depending on how you cut, now there, see how this I'm just mostly getting lines and I don't see much of the little white. So then it's just kind of stripes. But either way, I'm still going to um I'm still going to use the dimensionals over here they are. All right. Just to give some space between all of these patterns. Oh, my ear is ringing like off 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 the hook? Would you call it off the hook when your ears ringing? All right. My hearing aids have this Zen mode, and sometimes when my ears ring a lot, or I have what do you call it? Um, like, I don't know, it's something. I'll turn it on Zen, and then they just kind of make this bingy bongy bing, and it helps with that. But I can't really do that when I'm doing my video, can I? All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it at an angle because I love that little angle. Let's do our envelope really quick and then we'll finish our card because I am going to put some bling on the card. So let's finish this envelope. And this is just a six inch by two and a half piece of the designer series paper. And I'm just going to put some green tip glue on the flap of my envelope. And we're just going to lay that right on there. And I don't do this all the time. I should because you might as well use your designer series paper up, right? And so you can get quite a few out of a sheet because like I said, it's six by two and a half. So just cut your designer series paper in half. And you could probably do this smaller even, but I just like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room for cutting. And then all we do is we just take our scissors and we just follow along. on the envelope and that's why I use the green tip glue because you really want it to be glued good and then you have a cute little envelope look at that that matches the card and we could stamp you know hey or hi or whatever on the front if we wanted you just don't want it to interfere with the um, address all right then I wanted to put a little bling. I have to put some bling. So I grabbed the adhesive backed sparkle gems. 
and we are going to go to town on this bling um, because it's so cute and wait till you see how adorable this makes it look. All right, so we're going to do the smaller black ones and actually I'm going to put one in each of these dial holes. So how many had a rotary phone and you'd be in a hurry and you'd drag it back with your finger so it would dial quicker? Or you would do by accident and have to start all over, you'd have to hang up and oh, that was a five, not a four. But look how cute. I have to order more of these because I think this is my last pack of those. And especially since I'm going to do some more of these cards. Now I'm like, I might not put all these on I might just um, use my marker and make them be black. That would be cute too. Um, but for the video, I definitely wanted to add some sparkle. But isn't that so cute? All right, so let me show you. So this is, get all this stuff out of the way here. So here is the, oh, excuse my arm, catalog version. And then here is my twist with the super cute envelope. So let me know what you think. I love them both. But like I said, I'm going to make a, a bunch of these. And, and I won't do this because it's just going to, well, you, you could only do two cards. Let me see. Because with this pack, if you want to put one on each, now you could do the other colors. But you only get ten, right? And then there's ten holes. And I think these ones would be too big. These, the smaller ones were the perfect shape. So, um, and just for mailing, you know, I would rather send this in, um, like a padded envelope. So if I'm going to do like a padded envelope, this would be perfect. But if I'm going to just send it in a regular card, then I probably would just use, um, like a marker, you know, to, um, color those if I wanted to. So anyways, all right. So let me say, see you later, alligator. So, um. Super cute, right? Oh my gosh. So did you get this paper yet? The Summer Days um, Designer Series paper? Because, I don't know. I mean, I know I opened it because I did the catalog flip through. But I was just missing on, because that poppy paper was just like, oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Because I wanted to do a red phone. I just knew that when I was doing the catalog version. I'm like, oh, I want to make my phone, you know, be red. And so then I looked for, you know, paper that had poppy in it or whatever. So. That worked out perfect. All right, so I'm going to stop blabbing. I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays. That will be 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.